Hey guys, so here we are again with another weapon mounted light review for the company Ode Pro. So Ode Pro was kind enough to send out the Ode Pro KL41 Plus. As you can see here, it comes in this nice sturdy protective case. And what I'm gonna do here is just kind of go through what comes in the case. And then the important part, just show you guys some footage outside of what this thing looks like at night. Uh, I've been using this for right around two weeks now. The quality construction is very sturdy, very solid, and you can just tell it's very well built out of uh, some high grade aluminum. So what we'll do now is we'll just go through real quick what comes in the carrying case, and then uh, we'll show you guys some footage outside of how the light actually performs. So this is what comes in the case here. Uh, first thing, it does come with a, a pressure switch. So you would just screw this onto the back of the light, and then this would you know, run on the forearm of your rifle and then it's just a click button there to activate the light. And it does come with two 18650 batteries. So that's a plus. Sometimes it seems like, you know, flashlights only come with one battery. So you get two here, and then that will go with the dual 18650 battery charger. It comes with two different mounts, uh, so you can mount it to your rifle or to your scope, whichever way fits you best. And the light goes right here. I have it mounted on my rifle already because I've been using it on my rifle. So I'll show you that in just a minute. And one really nice feature with this light is it comes with three different LED modules. Uh, they come in these nice little hard plastic protective cases. And this is the IR model here. You can see it's written plain as day on the side here. IR850. So there comes with one in the light already, and then you get three additional. You get the white light, you get a green light, you get a red light, and you get the IR850. So that's a big bonus with this light. Very flexible, very easy to change these modules, and I'll show you that here in just a second. And it does come with a couple extra O-rings. This light is IPX8 weatherproof. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's fully waterproof, fully submersible, but you know, I, I would be comfortable using it in heavy rains, heavy downpours, uh, anything like that. Comes with your product warranty card. And of course your user manual. So here's the light. It's the Ode Pro KL41 Plus. And you can see here that I have the white LED installed. Uh, very solid construction. No, you know, the bezel doesn't move around. The tail cap, the pressure switch, it does not move around. Everything's just really solid, very well made. Nice, solid, audible clicks. And I'll just show you here how to change these modules, the LED modules. Just unscrew the front piece. And then you'll take off this next piece, which is the LED itself. You can see there, it just comes off like that. You would take out your next one, remove these protective coatings. And you can see, you just pick whichever one you want to install and screw it right on there. And that would just screw right back on. The user manual does say to make sure and take out your battery whenever you are installing a new one. So you just want to make sure and take off the uh, tail switch. Take the battery out. Put your module you're going to use on. Seat your battery back in. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple, and just very solid construction. So you've got an O-ring up here and then an O-ring back here. Makes it that IPX8 waterproof. And then you're back in luck. Another nice feature of this flashlight is that it does have built-in memory. So it has five different settings. It has low, medium, high, SOS, and strobe. So as long as you are using your last setting for at least three seconds, that's gonna be the memory and what it will use next time it turns on. To do that, you just do uh, half presses of the tail switch. 
So we'll go through the settings here real quick. Uh, first would be low, then you got medium, then high, and then strobe, and then SOS. So I'll just turn it on, let's say high, full click, leave it on for at least three seconds. Turn it off and then back on and be straight to high. The KL41 Plus has high intensity LEDs with 50,000 hour lifespans. The IPX8 standard weatherproof design allows it to be used in heavy rains. It's made from precision machined high grade 6061 aircraft aluminum. It can be used handheld or weapon mounted. The white module has a 1.1 hour runtime with a beam distance of 420 yards. The red has a two and a half hour runtime with a 240 yard beam distance. The green has a two and a half hour runtime with a 300 yard beam distance. So tonight we will shine at this barn. It's about 85 to 90 yards away. Just wanted to give you guys a reference point. Couple of geese in the pond. And then I'll show you guys off the back porch kind of some longer distances that we'll shine at. So off the back porch here, the top of this crest in this field right here is about 130 yards. Those trees behind it's probably right at 150. And then that white barn back there, the trees in front of it is about 290 about 290 yards. All right, so here we are on the back porch. Gonna take a look and see how well this light performs. Right here's this first little brushy line, uh, probably only 35, 40 yards away right there. And this is on low currently. So we're on medium here. Uh, this top of this knob was about 135 yards. And then the tree line behind it right here is about 150. Picks up pretty well. There's that barn. Uh, it's all lit up from the lights on the actual barn. Medium doesn't really pick up the tree line back there. But you can see how well medium does. And we'll check out and see how well high does. Look at that. Pretty impressive. It's got a pretty solid uh, center hot spot and also has a really nice flood with it too. Really nice bright white LED. And you can, s I don't know how well this is going to show up in the video, but you can see those trees back there. So that's picking up that about 300 yards, I think 295, uh, really well. Kind of show you, hold that off to the side there, then bring it into the frame slowly. All right, we're out front now, and I've currently got this on low and take a look at that barn the neighbors dogs are going crazy uh... does a pretty decent job on low there some cows out in the field having trouble focusing on that and here we are on high and look at that almost like daylight over there Super bright. Picks, picks up those cows really well. Probably 90 yards away right there maybe. And that barn. Awesome. So I'm out here now in the backyard range. Probably just at probably 15 to 20 yards. I'm uh, going to shoot a few still plates with the suppressed 22 
and just show you how this light does when it's mounted to the rifle. Zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see. Try to go for that smaller one now. All right, now we've got the red module in, and we'll take a look and see how it performs. So the red and the green modules, you got to keep in mind, they are single output only, so you can't go through uh, low, medium, or high, or the strobe features on the red and the green, just the white only. I do wish that the red and the green had the intensity settings just because those are the ones that I would mainly be hunting with. But the red's still pretty impressive. You can see right there, 150 easily. And the video's not going to pick it up, but probably just barely picking up those trees at about 295. Not near as well as the white, uh, but I can see them. I doubt the video is going to show that very clearly, but still pretty impressive output. Picks that up really well. Nice hot spot with a decent flood. Take a look for those cows. There we go. Picking up those eyeballs really well. And now the green module. There we go. Nice solid hot spot with a good flood. I feel like the red picks up the eyes a little bit better. And I also coyote hunt with the red modules. I use a different brand of lights, but my preference is red. And here we are in the back with the green LED. see really well out there to about 150 ish and all the way back to the barn picking up picking up some of those trees all around that barn which is 300 yards all in all a great flashlight weapon light I uh, do wish the red and the green modules had the intensity controls or the different settings. I'll put a link to this light down below in the description. You guys feel free to click on that and buy it there. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Make sure and subscribe. As always, happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you guys. Bye.